you decide what you can tolerate and that's your policy. And I personally like to go a little more conservative um, and then give them the ability to earn more. So to give you an example, you know, we have a policy that for attendance that they can have three unplanned absences in a six month period. However, I do allow them to earn more. And I have a process for that where they can earn more unplanned days. And I personally love that because should I let that bad hire through that is going to call off, call off, call off, but yet they've not broken our attendance policy so that I can fire them, then I'm stuck with them until I can weed them out the proper way. But if I am a little more conservative and I don't allow as many days, then I can weed that bad fit out sooner. But for those people that, you know, and it happens, I've had people who have great, great quality scores, the clients love them, but maybe they're a single mom with four or five kids, they're going to be gone more and they need more days so that they are able to earn more through their client satisfaction scores. So that's just an example of how I, my policies are fairly tight and conservative, but I allow them to earn more leeway. So I really haven't talked about any like new concepts that you don't already know. You know to follow your procedures. You know you need a good solid training program. Um, but yet most of you, well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know who's watching and who's not, but many people that I talk to they know it, but they don't do it. I mean, do I know what I need to do to lose weight? I know about calories. I know about carbs. I know about exercise. But yet, do I do that on a consistent basis? No. So that's why I don't lose weight like I'd like to. But whose fault is it? It's my fault. And so if you're having employee problems, ask yourself, do you know these things? Are you doing these things? And if not, whose fault is it? And have you been pushed far enough to actually put things into action like I was? So we've talked a lot about, um, you know, the disciplinary side of it and what you have to do to fix the problems. Now this is kind of the flip side. Once you get your, you know, like the bare essentials of your culture fixed, your policy and procedures, your training, things are transparent and consistent, then you can start to work on paper performance. And you know, how do you get more of the behavior that you want and need? How do you improve your attendance and improve your quality, not just expect the bare minimum? <laughs>